It's a matter of where you look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, just like certain teams are memorable right. or groups of right. teams, right? right. I'm, I don't know how they frame that one up, but right. they do, that that that's like the Dallas Cowboys of a certain time. Right. The Patriots of that era right. are going to be remembered because that's even bigger than the Lakers, right? Right. That's right. It's right. Winning percent of championships over that course, right, yeah. Vic? Yeah. That's the most in any sport, I think. Yeah. Of a team sport of championships. Yeah, they got a lot. They, you know, that's the the Belichick way has been stamped on the organization, yeah. and everybody wants to have an organization that follows his model. Even when he's not winning, he wins more with the least right. amount of talent or average talent, not the extreme talent. Like this, like like yesterday. Yeah, that's what I see. I agree with you. That's why I say it, 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 I believe it. Now, the person that I put on here that may make you think twice is Jay Cutler. Yeah, now, I definitely think twice. Now, the reason why I put him on there is because he connects to a couple of stories that makes people stop and think. First of all, he has a lot of uh, 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 interceptions, more than any quarterback over the last couple of years. Number one on interceptions since 2008. Here's the other part. When you look at Arizona as it relates to Matt Leonard, how he got pushed out of the league. And I said, well, wait a minute. You know, he wasn't producing the way they thought. But he's he was, still in the league. I thought he was well, a third stringer. He's, he's, a, he's a backup. When I say the starting okay, position, okay. My, my bad on that. Now, Phoenix, I look at all this. I said, Arizona now got Derek Anderson. Now, Arizona's losing badly. Derek Anderson is woeful. Uh, you got Jay Cutler, who all of a sudden is being celebrated, and he has more interceptions over the last couple of years. So what does that say the decision that was made with Matt? I go, say anything. I say, I, well, it I, says that people do better under some systems than others. And neither one, and, and, and wait a minute, there's not been a good producing system that Jay Cutler has been under yet. Maybe that's true, too. I say that about my man Jason Campbell, right. but I maybe he's proving me wrong. I don't know. In other words, you some of these people, they have such tremendous ability right. that you wonder what's going on with them. I agree. And he's one that you wonder. Yeah, I, I always say this. Leonard, I don't know. I don't know. He but he, he just is worse. He just hasn't. He's just been worse than I thought. But I never thought he was going to be super. Well, no, no. The part that I'm saying is is that he's had an, only a few games here and there, and they've already exercised yeah. the decision. I said, so I, how long does it go for Jay Cutler? I like his talent. I like his big arm. But how long do you go when you lead the league? Only one person I know gets to lead the league in interception, but he produces championships and wins, and that's Brett Favre. So how far do you go with Jay Cutler? I don't know because you got to look at the offensive coordinator. You know who's the number one quarterback right now? I just heard yesterday in the NFL, right? Who is that? The Denver, the guy, what's the name of? Orton. Orton. Yeah. Which is amazing. Yeah. That's, see, what does that say? In other words, see, that's the, okay, that's what I'm saying. Those are the kind of things that make you go, hmm, because it's a crazy year. People who step up and who are doing versus the ones that you don't right. see, I'm just amazed. Like, yeah. that's amazing. His stat, he was, like the guy said, he did decent in the other years, but this is, he, did he stand out right now, yeah, right? Yeah, he did, but yeah, Orton had a bad time for the first couple of years as it relates to Chicago because he was throwing intercepts and making bad decisions. Well, that's the my was. And, they, and he was way worse than some of these quarterbacks who get about a couple of games in their eyes. I wonder if it's, remember, I always wonder how much it has to do with the offensive coordinator yeah. and them coming together into the game plan. Yeah, not Because, the, like you said yeah. about Mark Sanchez, right? they were holding him back in the first Jets games, and now they're not. Everybody talks about what you said yep. about letting things go. Yep. In other words, the decisions on the quarterbacks are led by the offensive quarterback or offensive coordinator who may be the quarterback's coach. So I agree. I'm not saying bring Matt back. I'm just saying at what point do you cut your losses when somebody has an interception you ratio that leads I don't know. the league? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, because, because, because that's the part where I wonder about the offensive coordinator and what they tell you to throw into. Right. To whom? Yep. You know, that's all I'm saying. If they have you thrown to a bunch of mediocre receivers and they want you to go at it. Right. What can you say? What can you say? Okay, we're going to skip over here because you know that season's in and I wouldn't be doing my due diligence if I don't recognize that baseball postseason matchups are here. And, they're, you know, don't do that, man. We have, a, we have a baseball fan base. Look at him. They see, they see, that, they see all that. <laughs> I got to use my sound effect. Yeah, he, I'm going to tell you something. I like I, ping I pong way more than baseball. I think the catch to <laughs> baseball to get you energized when you don't have personalities that you can surround yourself by 
is home runs. You get a home run derby, or you get home runs. I'm not listening to you. It's you still too short. Yeah, no, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's really quick. A home run is really quick. No, no, no. It's like a premature, No, you know, it's well, P.E. Well, let me just say this. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I, I'll go through them quickly. You just give me a name. You don't even have to give me the, uh, the overall on it. Tampa Bay versus Texas Rangers. Who's going to win that series? Tampa Bay. Oh. They have way better food. Oh, stop. They get this. <laughs> but you know, is it polluted? No, <laughs> stop. Stop. Tampa has those. They have a crab boy. Yeah, Minnesota against New York Yankees. <laughs> New York, but their food, you know, the fact they have all that immigrant population. And nobody's getting it. Minnesota fantasy, be cold. Your fantasy football people automatically go like, there's no such thing as fantasy baseball if you watch back stereo because it's about the food channel. <laughs> okay, let me go. Baseball, you know it's about the stadium food. I see those things. You know, you you're we're all fat anyway, right? Okay, Philadelphia Phillies against the Cincinnati Reds. Man, so that's cheesesteaks versus microbrews. I'll go with Cincinnati. Okay, you go with Cincinnati. San Francisco versus the Atlanta Braves. Who are you going for? Man, you know what? That Southern cuisine. I got you, done. Yeah, and one thing about San Francisco, their whole experience has been polluted by the 49ers. <laughs> the whole city's suffering. I can't believe that. The whole city's suffering right really? now. This is a painful place. This is cold. Especially man. when the gay community came out and got behind the 49ers. Okay. So I'm going with Atlanta. Okay, okay. You got it. <laughs> well, here's it. Here, here, this is what I, I'm leaving this alone. Let me tell you what, everybody, the public is rallying around. There's always that team that you want to rally around. And Tampa Bay is the favorite as it relates to the short survey of who they like to see win the uh, baseball championship. So, you know, I just want to let you know, Tampa Bay got the fan base out there rooting them on because they believe they're going to go against the Yankees in the AL Finals. Un- we want division. some new blood. Yeah. So we want to see some other people win. Yeah, yeah I know. And in Philadelphia, let me give you my shout out. Mm. Their favorite to win the NL. Uh, conference, so well, that's me, enough for them. Know, to me. I like I like Philly, and I you know I'm caught between Philly and Tampa Bay. But everybody's going not New York. What team do you not want to see win? Uh, what team do I not want to see win? Yeah, the Yankees. I knew you were gonna say that because they're they're hey, like come on. It's like the Lakers. Oh, they win too come often. on! I got you. I got you. You know, right. let's have some other cities. Okay. All right. Then it leads me to another question. Then, okay. You need something to kind of energize the playoffs so you will watch, not only because of the personalities, characters, or the play of the game. What would you rather see? Pitching shutouts, massive home run hits, bench-clearing brawls, or, or nude female twins streaking across the field at least 250 pounds each? I'd see the nude female streaking. Neither are 250 pounds. Just to show the nimbleness and quickness. Perhaps they can do a few gymnastic moves along the way. And at the end, we can go get a pizza. What's the number two? I knew he was going to go that one anyway. What's your number two? Uh, not pitching shutouts is really boring. Put that that's last. Right. There you go. Who was? That's boring. I know. We'd rather see bench clearing brawls. Okay. Especially if it's the girl teams fighting. Right. Can't fight. Okay. I got one for you. Okay. I want to see. A ma- massive home run hits that allow nude female twins to come out streaking across the field, which causes bench clearing brawls. I want to see massive home run hits by little midgets. God, oh, that lead to bench clearing brawls of lingerie clad females, which is then interrupted by nude transgenders. Oh, Streaking across the field. You know, he's got a warped <laughs> sense of humor. Now, nah, let's up that one. Okay, I'm leaving it alone. No, you got me on that. As soon as you I, said transgender, <laughs> you lost me. Well, I wanted to add something to the streaky. I, no, I'm leaving it alone. I thought... I'm leaving it alone. <laughs> CWD would help. Okay. It's like, <laughs> hey, you guys, guess what? It's signed all the times. Basketball preseason is back. And let, let's just, that's the sign of the times, man, right there. That's the new Laker girl. That's She's right. found my rabbit's foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You know what? I'm living alone. All right. Let me just I was say. looking for that rabbit's foot. Hey, look. First of all, first of all, that picture says a lot. I'm not going to tell you what. I'm showing you how limber people are. I don't know. That looks like me when I get down there. You know what? I'm just looking at the shoes. Does she have little feet? Well, yes. 
That's just like I agree. She has little feet, but big knees. <laughs> what knee? There's a knee there. <laughs> okay, let me leave it alone. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me go ahead. Lakers uh, play their preseason game in London. Of course, everybody's chanting. We're Kobe. watching that tonight. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. No, there's another preseason game tonight, Vic. Well, yeah, but I have to Cleveland. Report. Yeah, but I got to report on the other. Who cares about Cleveland? I mean, not Cleveland. I mean, Miami. Well, I mean, that's okay. what I'm about to say. Okay, all right. right. Thomas, you always got to put Lakers yeah, first with everything. Well, There's like, a lot of Lakers shit around yeah, here. Wait a minute. Like Lakers coming out the, the damn pores. Here's right here. Look at all that Lakers right. stuff over there, you guys. With Boston. Jeez. And, and Michael Jackson. Like five okay, million so Lakers they, things. What can you say, man? This is, it is what it is. Championships. Leaders. Examples of winners. Okay? Now, need you just get over it. You a fool, Shaq. That's okay, Shaq. I got your back. <laughs> Wait a minute. Go, Shaq. Well, Shaq is a winner, too. The only thing I don't like about Shaq is the little beard thing. Okay. Otherwise, that he's my boy. All right. All he's, right. he's still my man. I'm with Shaq. Okay. Hey, the great Aristotle. Okay. Well, here's the thing. Uh, Kobe only got to play about Boo. six, six minutes. <laughs> we leave that alone. So the fans, the fans were already excited because the Lakers appeared. So no one even cared about the loss. The Minnesota Timberwolves basically went on and won by 111 to 92. And then, you know, they got to see Michael Beasley, the former Miami Heat player, now who is traded to the Timberwolves, put on a show. They took it a little bit more serious than the Lakers, you can tell. And then also the big men, Lamar, Ron Artest, you know, Paul Gasol, they played limited minutes. So it's yeah. one of those walk through. How are you going to travel to Europe? Prepare to play a game, and then come off of what they call a vacation. They can't. So this is one of those thrill to see the game. Whatever. That's, that's why it. I want. Even though, okay, that's why they tuned in. But right. so that's why we want to see the Miami Heat. That's right. Everybody wants now, to. see I want to see them because yeah. at least even though it's exhibition, which means it's bullshit, but, we can still see something out of but it. But I, I guarantee you this: if you don't create some kind of rivalry. It won't be the same excitement. It's like I agree. San, it's like San Antonio when they won their four I championships. Agree. Who was the rival? I agree. But you know you what's Vic? Vic, what? they have to do something to blow this rivalry because it's already brewing, right? right. All they got to do is add a few little leaves every now to the fire. Right. Because this bad boys, I mean, I've never had a season. No. One other time when the Lakers did it, I did anticipate that disappointing season when they had Carl Malone right. and Gary Payton. But yeah. other than that, Vic. I have almost never had a season that I anticipated. Who's the rivalry in the East? Forget about the it's, Lakers. Even that is exciting. Celtics versus the Heat. You think it is? They're not even. They, they don't even talk about that. They talk about. They the don't Lakers. talk about it, but it'll be there as a rivalry. I tell you, you know what? I bet you they talk about it in Boston. Yeah, <laughs> I it bet will. you. They, I, I think, bet you they talk about it in Boston all the time. I think. The, I think when it comes down to it, everybody wants to see Miami actually go against the champions so uh, i believe it's the lakers anything short of that it's so hard to build up a rivalry because you want to see th th the expectation for miami is you're supposed to win the east period well that's what i'm saying yeah. even though the celtics have something to say about that that's true that's true and i'm saying that's what they're going like right now that's what part of the good thing is that they jaws getting a little tight <laughs> they just getting a little I know, tight. It'd be something to prove. They get well. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. a bunch of people, and you know, just like that's going to happen out here in the West. Right. Except I don't know who's got anything to back it up. I don't know if they're going to in do the it. West at all. Right. Yeah. yeah well, well, no. Lakers are going to be the team to beat. Let me tell you why I think it's going to be the way it is going to be. First of all, anybody's going to play Miami's got to just worry about playing better.